beauties today I have kind of like a mega haul for you because over the weekend I did some shopping I did some damage and I did some shopping uh, this weekend me and my husband celebrated our one year anniversary so we headed up to the city and I thought I would grab a whole bunch of stuff because it's a good excuse and because I can now if you hear like dusty running making noises it's because um he's just bringing bringing his um pig's ear so he's kind of a bit bit psycho at the moment so um what I'm gonna start off with makeup and um a few bits and pieces and also um some baby stuff so if you're not interested just let me know and don't don't actually don't let me know just don't watch the end of it um first of all I'm gonna start off with Mecca um I did have a voucher so I thought I may as well use it. So I picked up a NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer because I thought sometimes I use a stick, sometimes I use uh, MAC Pro Longwear, it just depends, but um, it just depends. But I thought, you know what, still have dry skin, it's kind of un under control, but I thought, you know what, I'll try it anyway. Um, I did pick up the lighter shade only because, um, sorry, I do use concealer under my eyes as also kind of like a highlight as well. So, um, I did pick up, what name is it? It's called Light One Chantilly. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty much the lighter shade that they have and it comes with like a, um, a little hoof. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. A little hoof. So, picked up that. So, I'll just pop these away. And then, I've also been wanting this for ages, and everyone probably has one, probably have seen it, but it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, so, I've picked one of those, been wanting it for ages. I thought, you know what, Melissa, you deserve it, so you get it. Uh, I was on Sephora the other day and I saw that they also have like um, a blush one now like that has comes with like three blushes which is pretty awesome so um, which looks like that so you kind of get like a like a deepy I'll call that like a bronze and then the middle one's pink toned and um, well, to me that's more peach, pink, and then like your bronze. So I picked that up. Which, because I went on Saturday, it was like extremely busy and crazy. So I think they were happy that I knew what I wanted. And I wasn't there to like stuff around. So yeah. Then I went to Maya and I went into MAC, which is also super busy. Oh, can't stand it. Um... I'm looking for foundations, still looking for foundations, Been, like I said I'm wanting to try foundations. Now I use my MAC Studio Fix in, in C15 and I'm finding that's too yellow for me. I'm wearing it today, I don't know if you can tell but I just find it to be too yellow so I thought I'd get a new one. Um, I needed something that was kind of full coverage but also good for dry skin. And a few other things with pregnancy, like your skin, you kind of, you just feel like you need full coverage, but um, it's hard because you do have dry skin and all that stuff. So I picked up the MAC Mineralized Foundation in NW15. I gave it both of them a little try and the NW, so I think I picked the NC up one time by mistake and just went with it. So comes with a little pump. As you can see, and picked up that one. Then I picked up a whole bunch of lipsticks. I did want Velvet Teddy because, of course, the whole rage is like the Kylie Jenner lipstick. Everyone's probably ugh, getting over it, but um, I do like that. And I've actually got a um, Wimeo Kate Moss lipstick on that I found in my drawer just sitting there, which I think is pretty, pretty spot on. Um, but yeah, I wanted Velvet Teddy, but um, they were completely sold out. And I think it's completely sold out online as well. And I've also heard that MAC Faux, I think it's Faux, is also um, very similar to like what Kylie Jenner has. So 
I have a whole, went through all my lipsticks and I realised that like, I have a lot of lipsticks but I don't have a lot of lipsticks, like, they tend to be the same colours and it kind of gets boring, you kind of feel like you're using the same colours over and over again. So I picked up three lipsticks, now I picked up Angel, now I'm just going to, so I should have taken it out of the box, there's one thing I hate, I should take them out of the box because they're always so hard to get out of the box. So I picked up the um, Angel, which is kind of really light pink. And I'll just do a swatch there. I don't know if you can see, it's very, um, I'm in front of a huge window, so you're probably getting the glare from the sun there. Even though there's no sun, but yeah. I also picked up a Please Me. Which is more of a more of a darker colour. These are all in that like the pink family. There we go, which is the one just above here. And Please Me is a matte. And then Angel is a frost. Now I've been thinking MAC have different finishes for lipsticks. I was thinking if you want me to go through them and um, tell you my thoughts on the different um, different textures, different finishes, let me know and um, I'll start doing my research and start doing that because it will take a little bit of time because I don't think I have everything from every finish from MAC because some of them I find are too, are too sheer and don't really turn out, um, the colour doesn't really turn out on my lips. So... Now, always don't know how to pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pink Nove, Novea, Pink Novea. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Whatever. And this one is a satin. Looks like that. It reminds me of a deep, a deeper. Um, it actually reminds me of a deeper snob, which looks like that. And they're all beautiful colors. All beautiful colors. I was watching. Um, 11th Gorgeous, they had a new video up on a Sephora haul and a MAC haul and they brought like, I think it was like three lipsticks and like three lip liners and I wrote them all down because now I want every single colour because they kind of have my skin colour, like a really light skin colour. So yeah, so I thought, yeah, let's grab that now. I went to Peter Alexander at Crown and they were having a massive sale, well massive, but they are having a Pretty much everything was almost on sale. They had like, which I never knew, a Hello Kitty collection again. Um, I wanted a 90, but the Hello Kitty 90 was too thick. And um, I needed one for like summer kind of thing. And it was just too thick. So I picked up just some bottoms because the tops just, the tops won't fit me of course. Because my ever growing belly, um, which... Peter Alexander should actually, because the bottoms are absolutely fine, like absolutely fine, but tops no. So Peter Alexander, like I don't know if they're watching or probably not, but like maternity tank tops and like that for like, um, for sleeping would be absolutely perfect. So I picked up some shorts that look like this and these are large and they're actually like, they're huge. Um, but like I said, for my ever-growing belly, I picked up these shorts, which are um, sleep shorts, which is absolutely cute. And then I saw this all the way down the back and absolutely fell in love with it. It's kind of like... Put that away. It's a t-shirt 90, which is absolutely cute. Now, the buttons are undone because I have worn it. Now, it does have long sleeves, but I can roll the sleeves up. And also, it's a very light material, so I won't get too hot in it. And I picked up the largest size, well, the largest size I had, which is XL, because I just wanted it to be big and flowy and all that. So, it's just a t-shirt little thing, and it has a cute little collar. So, I picked that up. Then, we went to... Um, the Emporium, I didn't, I had it, didn't really want to um, have a look at a lot, like I couldn't go to Victoria's Secret, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to, um, 
because I know that as much as he says he's fine going shopping, I know that my hubby absolutely hates it, like majority of men. So um, next time I'm in the city, which is in a couple of more weeks, I'll go and have a look. But we went there just to go to the spud bar. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's been there before, but it's just up in the food court um, and pretty much like you've got your spud and you choose all your ingredients and oh god, it was so good. I'm craving it all the time now and it's just so good and it's healthy for you. I had a sweet potato with like a whole bunch of good stuff. I'll leave a photo at the end actually and it was pretty good. It was like amazing. We went there because a Richmond player, I'm not sure who um, owns owns them and John's a huge Richmond supporter so he's like let's go I'm like okay it was kind of like my first spud but yeah it was amazing then we went to I can't go shopping anywhere whether it's just down to my local street anywhere without picking something up for bubs now I went to pure baby which is like organic cotton um, it is a tad expensive I must say like it is. I think they have one in DFO actually, so I might go have a look um, next time I'm in there. Now, she is going to be a summer baby, so um, that's not worrying, but like when it gets really hot here, it's just, I hate it and it makes me worry. But thank God we have aircon, so on the hot days, I'm just going to sleep in the, um, the lounge room. I was just trying to think. So they had like a special for that day, like buy one pair of pajamas and get one for half price. So I picked up just two little like what I don't even know what they're called sleep zip grow suit. So like little cute little summery pajamas there that she can sleep in, and it's nice and soft. And I picked up another one that's just a stripy one. Which looks like that. And then if you spent... Sorry, my camera stopped. Yeah, if you spent over $50, you get like a little mini shirt. Which is like a triple zero. But it's absolutely tiny. But it stretches. But it's really tiny. Really, really tiny. Uh, what else? Oh, and my present um, from my hubby. Which he was very naughty. Him, and I have to actually check, um, take it to the jewelers and get um, get taken in. He did his research and he um, looked up like what presents you're you know you're supposed to give for an like a traditional present that you're supposed to get for like an anniversary. Um, I was kind of familiar. I knew it was like a watch thing. I thought it was a watch, but he doesn't wear anything like that, so I couldn't get him that whatsoever which is really annoying because you know it's just hard so he picked me up a fossil watch which kind of if you can see there I'm not sure if you can see which is I absolutely love it's huge and I just love it so he picked me up that which is like yeah like I said it's really big on me which is really surprising because I have another white fossil watch and it's not this big on me so yeah so he picked, I got that, which I absolutely love. The only thing I really don't like about a fossil is the fact that like, you're spending like a lot of money and they put it in like a tin box, which is fine. But like, it's cardboard. Like, can't you just have something nicer than cardboard? Like, and then this was just a, um, not long ago, I went to Keith. Okay, and I picked up a few things. Now I'm doing a um, a photo of a day of our baby for a whole year, maybe two years, maybe half a year. I don't know. I'm hoping for a whole year. So I need a book to put like a photo of her, and each day I'll put like what happened that day, or just a little little something like a little note or something like that. And you know, I'm look looking and thinking oh you know what kind of book do I want and then I come across this one which was a 365 day book which I thought was absolutely perfect so each page um, I'm thinking should I open it and I'll watch it. 
here. I'll open it. Back. Let's take this out. So as you can see, if you just open it, it just looks like that. And each page, obviously, you can see is numbered, which I thought was absolutely perfect. And it's cute, and it's pink and gold, which I absolutely pink, love pink and gold. And her room is all, like, pink and with, like, some gold here and there, which I thought was absolutely perfect. I'm just not sure how it's going to go, like, um, with all the photos and stuff in it. So, hopefully that goes good. Okay, so I also picked up just a really bright pink pen to go write some stuff on and I also picked up hopefully you can see the light um, three pens I just picked up three pens they've got diamonds on them and patterns on them and they're purple, white and pink I saw this at the checkout which kind of got me and it was a to-do list so you just write what has to be done so Hopefully I can become an organised mum and do a to-do list. I like do lists anyway, but it's just on a blank piece of paper, so I thought that would be perfect for that. Just pop those back. And that is about it for my haul. So thank you all for watching and do let me know if you want me to do um, a comparison of all the different MAC lipsticks. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.